Next is, am I the a- asshole for not wanting to accept my husband's affair child? No, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> can I just read it? <laughs> we all know how this story ends. We yes. All know, we all know. <laughs> um, yeah. My husband and I have been married for seven years. Happily, I thought. We have two girls, five and four, and two boys, and two boys, two and unborn. Aww. He's due anyway. I lost my job back in March due to the pandemic and it's been a nice it's been so nice being a stay-at-home mom to with the kids. Our fourth child is due any day now and and about 2 days ago I received the bombshell. My husband had an affair. It broke me to the core. He's the love of my life. Then he hit me with the second part of the news that they had a baby about a month ago and he's about 2 months early and in, in and he is in intensive care, and his mother is an addict. <clears throat> ah, ah. <laughs> okay, see, this complicates things now. Wait, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't make that earlier assertion. Yes. As straightforward as the. He's in intensive care, what? and his mother is an addict, and was arrested, and they want custody to go to my husband. He told me I let my. It, he told me I let myself go for all these months and I, I was, and it was a moment of weakness for him. He's telling me that he could still be happy, we could still be a happy family and that the baby needs a father. Am I the ha- asshole for not wanting any of this? His side of the family is calling me a monster for turning away a child in need. I feel like I'm living a nightmare. It's unfair that um, she has been put in this this position she's definitely not the asshole um and i'm what makes me unhappy about this scenario is the innocent child that is now you know put in the middle of this yeah because oga no her husband is the asshole he's the asshole let's 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 not even prolong this conversation and his family you know, his family would, I mean... No, the side of family um, yeah, is calling the, her the a monster. monster. Mm, they'll be all right. But the asshole here, Sha, is her husband. Because he stepped out. Already. Yes. How if can you be telling her that she let herself go? She was pregnant for crying out loud. I mean, this 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 is their fourth child she's carrying. Yes. So, Baba, you are the asshole. Um, she's not. So even though I feel... Yeah, it's, even though I feel like, right, unfortunately... Her standing for what is best for her and her family um, will automatically mean that the newborn would most likely end up in the system, foster care, all of that. But it's not her fault, really. Karma, though. Tua, Baba. Karma, karma where? Please, please. You know what I'm saying. No, I don't know. Please explain. Okay. So, Mike. Yeah. Anyhow, anyhow it plays, mm. it's karma for somebody. Mm. It's karma for the man if she says she stands her ground mm. because now he uh, he sees his child going through all that. Mm-hmm. But then if she also doesn't take him in future, like we all know that as humans, forget about what she feels, that child will have his his own story, mm. and whatever he decides to see his own step brothers and sisters as in future. Okay, let you me get my point. Yeah, I get so your point. So it's your just point. all about karma. At the end. I get your point, but let's not forget that this is the United States we are talking about, and they hardly have help because, they like, on, help, like, like, like domestic help. Yes, like well, how it's expensive. It's yeah, more it's expensive it's than, than here, here. Here, yeah. So, from all the videos that we've been seeing, we see that there it's it, it's both the husband and the wife that take care of the kids, mm-hmm. and she already has three, and she's pregnant due, due yes, yeah. with another one. We should now come and start taking care of it one more old child. That's like having twins. Yes. That you didn't it's plan. a dilemma, but like it okay. has to be said. But yeah, you know, I, she I, has I to be mentally ready for that. And she wasn't mentally ready. She's mentally ready for one child. Life and is now hard. Two. Hey. Mm. I'm Life sorry. Is hard. Zin is just, don't mind him. He's just playing devil's advocate. I know, but I, I would also not want to leave that child out in you know what? the you know world. What? You know what? The people that call her monsters, they should take that child. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. They are they are the, they are the real owners, have right. husbands, family. Mm. Since they are not monsters, dears, 
is your child now? Because yeah, those, 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 that's their child. Alternatively, if you must bring the child, you bring the help. Yeah. Because you're Pay for help. more work mm-hmm. for me that I did not bargain for. Mm. So if you're bringing the child, you bring the child alongside with help. Bring a detailed plan of what what are we going to do? What is your plan? How are you going to be very involved in the parents of the child? Like you're not going to bring the child and become the secondary parents. Like you have to be the primary parents and do you not know the Work. But you know that 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 has ruined their marriage, though. Whatever the decision, yeah, yeah, it has. That's Trust is out the window. Come on. Next one. Am I the asshole for not telling my wife I had a vas? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my man went snip snip, and he didn't tell his babe. He said, "Am I the asshole for not telling my wife that I had a vasectomy?" I have been married to my wife for two years now, and she's always wanted to have a child with me. She mentions it very often. I've been trying to have one with her. The problem is that I've had a vasectomy and she doesn't know. Why? 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 Why, why, why is he now trying? No, he said I've been trying. You've been trying. Spiritual, spiritual baby. You've been trying. But Ibro, does he have kids outside? What? Well, we'll find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's 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 read on. <laughs> My ex, okay, my ex-wife came over and dropped off our three kids, ages nine, five, and four, and she's pregnant by her now husband. Well, her and my wife were talking about her new baby and if she knew the gender. Now my ex knows that I've been fixed as I did so after our youngest was born. Hold up. So his wife, his ex-wife, and his wife, apparently they get out, they, you know, they, talk. they converse. Mm. And his ex-wife came to drop off. Yeah, three kids. Three kids, and she's, because she's pregnant with. I know. Uh, for her new husband. And, and, the, ex-wife knows and the ex-wife knows that, that he had done he did snip, snip. snip after their last child, you know, after the four-year-old. Um, and she's shocked. Well, my wife says, I cannot wait to be pregnant. Mm. We've been trying to have a baby with no luck, but it will happen when God allows it. My ex just smiled, and then she looked at me, and I knew what she was thinking with the look Excuse me, she gave me. Later, she texted me and told me that I needed to tell my wife the truth and that she had baby fever, and it was cruel to give her false hopes and pretty much called me an asshole. So, am I the asshole? Yes. I know it's a little dishonest, but I, it would break my wife's heart to know the truth. Bye-bye. Wow, look at Zin. Zin, that is the devil's advocate, just shouted, yes. <laughs> I'll find a way to do it. Don't ball. worry, you'll find a way to play devil's advocate. Oh my God. But this one is hard. Dishonest? That's not a little. So, That's not a little. So there are certain things that you should add to the list of conversations that you have before you get married. You get married. Mm. One of them, has to this has to fall in that category. <laughs> One of them has to eat. Top up. <laughs> Kenny said it's top of the list. You have to let the other person know if you have any intentional mm. me- medical um, history or whatever. The, um, reproductive situations. Mm. Or if you've had an accident in the past or some I know someone who had an accident um when you know she was younger when he was younger and so he can get it up, he can do a job, he can but then his swimmers just don't swim that fast. They just don't live there anymore. Wow. You know, and they're happily married. You know, he's married. He told, he, he told her. He told her. He told her. He was like, listen, this happened when I was younger, blah, 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 blah. And his mother had told him that, look, if it's a conversation that is too difficult for you to have with her, I can call because his mother really liked the girl. If the conversation is too difficult for you to have with her, I can call her and sit down, come to her as a woman and say, my son cannot give you children. Are you okay with it? And so he told the mother, no, you have to go. And he did. Had to with her. And she said, okay, you know what? I love you. We can explore other options. So I think they are, they are talking about um, about adopting, you know. Um, I hope that, you know, that works out pretty well. Bottom line, Sha, you see how you discuss, discuss finances, you discuss extended family, you discuss career paths, you discuss um, what are the other things, you know, sexual preferences, mm-hmm. you know. All of those things. Genotypes. Yeah. All of, you must, this kind of thing you must put inside a conversation because, bruh, you think it's a little dishonest? She will kill you. I, if you wake up the next morning after you tell her and find out that your entire insides are on the bedroom floor and your body is on the bed without insides, baba, you can't blame her. You have, nah, man. Well, I think it's also very unfair what you did because he already has children and then yeah. he 
and then you marry somebody that you know that wants kids. That's cool. Just because there are people that don't want children. Yeah. So you could have. I have friends who don't want children. Baby. Yes, you do have friends that don't want children. Mm-hmm. So you could have married somebody <laughs> that no wants a child. And now the thing that is actually more annoying is that. We have been trying. See, so Baba's just been Baba's been forming activity. <laughs> Come on, yeah, we do. Ooh, you are. It's breezy. Ooh, his body's like, yeah, we're trying. But and she said she's, you know, working hard, uh, instigating sex. And she's going things. to be doing different positions, Baba. thinking that this is the position that will get the child. And in. my guy's just there, like, yeah, man. <laughs> Living my best life. Oh, why though? <laughs> because he's an asshole. No, I mean, like, why is he? Okay. Yeah. And I just feel he's he's somewhat evil. <laughs> <laughs> he's somewhat he's evil. evil. <laughs> he's wicked. He has three children already. So Baba don't settle himself. himself. He's good. So whether he has or he doesn't have it, he's, he's fine. Mm. He's fine by him. But now he's with somebody that wants a child. So I I also ask him ask him again, what if she did the same thing to him? Mm-hmm. If she had had kids and taken out her womb, and, her, and, then, she and then did not get married, and he had no kids, to her decision. he would have been. He would have see. He would, they would have ended up on 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 all the blogs because he would have decapitated the yes. poor girl. I'm serious. She Zane, would have been physically harmed. Zin, you wanted to say something. Is that same why? No. Because he's no he's, chill. He's a piece of I shit. I I feel like I feel like at the end of the day, you guys are very right too. But <laughs> people in the comments. Zin, no, Zin, see, see, Zin, like Zin, there's no, no there's the no, lady, there's no, no, I'm talking about advocate. like he has, he's breaking her heart. Yes, he, he probably doesn't like that. Mm. That's the part that he mm. thinks makes him an asshole. But, mm? but then do that earlier, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, no, breaking her, <laughs> <laughs> breaking her, what? 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 Has, do you know the reason why he he's he's no. writing to he's writing on Reddit? Right. It's because his ex-wife knows his secrets. Yes. Yeah. If she didn't know if his nobody secret, else knew, he would keep would quiet. Like, like, they guy, will go to this guy's making it hard for me, man. Ah. Yeah. Well, he knows that he's an asshole. He, he knows. knows. Yeah, I think this mm. one. Is, say, yeah. Oh, oh, he's definitely an asshole. He's the most is like he's trying, and his wife trying is saying what? when God. <laughs> now you would they talk now? Which guy try? They try. Mama is just there. Can it be reversed? Can a vasectomy be reversed? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there are some that can be reversed. But I don't no, 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 no. Vasectomies cannot be reversed. It's caught now. You're already caught. It's, it's, it's... Well, we are not doctors. When... Yeah, uh, you know, it's... When... that we have a medical professional... We'll, we'll ask, we'll ask Tulu. Our... Or, or Tosin. Aisha. Tosin. Or to, yeah, we'll ask all our people in the medical field. So, but what I'm saying is that uh, I feel like she married a very wicked person. Ah. And I feel like there's no coming back from it. Selfish. Because that marriage is not going to... It's not going anywhere. Because like apart from that, you like like you marry somebody that is very dishonest to you. I feel like everything that he now says, you now be looking at him like she should just realize that that's why the first wife divorced him. Thank you. He gets why? Because he they lie. (laughs) He do behave. He do behave like a liar. (laughs) He do do lie. He do do lie. (laughs) Okay, next one. So this one is um, (laughs) this one is lengthy. So instead of just reading it all the way through, we would. Would read, we'll go through it like we're watching film, we'll so that we'll be, we'll be changing our mind as something because I can see that it's like long, bruv. Um, okay, so let's here we go. Um, headline: Am I the asshole for giving my dad his money back in front of his other kids and telling him he was no longer welcome at my graduation? Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> so first off, just off the 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 headline, there's there's drama. There's there's backstory. There are problems. There are there kids. Issues. There are other kids involved. So there's graduation involved. There's money involved. It's not the same mother. <laughs> so daddy has been busy <laughs> playing for different clubs and scoring at different <laughs> stadiums. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, Wait, let's read. Let's hear. So from the beginning, child, daddy sounds like daddy is a douche. A child, daddy issues because daddy is a douche. So I'm also guess- guessing that daddy makes a fuss about the money that he spent on somebody's tuition. Yep. So the person has now worked, made money, and said, you know what, I'm about to graduate, but take your money. Back. Don't show up at my graduation because I've made my money by myself. I can pay you back. We don't know that the person has money. Read. 
Good point. <laughs> you are hoping this is the case. I'm hoping that's the case. Right. My graduation ceremony is being held next week. My dad had given me some money in advance to pay for the... Really? Really? For the party? This is about the part, graduation party? And we don't go out, go tuition money? It's party <laughs> money. At this point, you're an asshole. <laughs> My graduation ceremony is being held next week. My dad had given me some money in advance to pay for the party. I live mostly with my mom, but they're supposed to be hosting the event together. Huh. Dad and I have a rocky relationship. That uh after my parents divorced when I was four, four, they split custody of me and he was able to stay a good dad. Hmm. When I was 10, he met Jane. Jane had three kids. Um, twins and a single child. So they got married when I was about 12, but I would say even before that, it felt like, I felt like he prioritized her kids over me a lot. He would cancel plans with me if they wanted to do something and he would either do the thing with them or force me to go and say it was even better than our plans when for me it wasn't. Think going for a hike with me versus taking them to an indoor play area. Mm or seeing a movie with me versus the, the kitty park. One more example is when I was given a ticket for a concert my dad and I both love. He was supposed to buy a ticket to come with me for some father son time, but actually spent it on his young, youngest stepkid who wanted their room painted. He told me at the last minute and it hurt. There are other times stuff like this happened. He didn't show up at the hospital when I broke my arm because one stepkid was getting their tonsils out so, in other words, mm. the kids are not his. Yes. But that one is his own. Mm. And he's prioritizing his stepkids, stepkids over, over his, own, his actual child. Okay, Continue. No, 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 no. Wait, no. no. Come, come. no, no but no, but that's chill that's, now. Uh, he's okay. a douche now. Wait, no, but chill. It's true. But uh, if the stepkids were to tell you their story, you'll say he's such a graceful man. Eto, I'm at the story. The stepkids, this is not their story. Let's focus. What if our let's guy is just, just yeah, wants no, all the attention? Baba, well, as, as Didi said, what as Didi said, right? yeah, what's he feeling? But I, I, I then How does he Hillary, want all the attention? Wait. He's with his mother. Almost all. He lives with his mother. I think one of the things we have to understand is that this, our character, mm. gave practical examples of like situations that made him feel left out. There might be one offs. Eh? It was like four offs. It's a word against the it's man. Like what I respect about what Hillary is bringing to this episode. The consistency, <laughs> even of in what? the face, even of in the what? face of overwhelming no, facts, bro, look at my brother is what Jenny, if in you are with because me this, this, right? this no. <laughs> <laughs> can he said uh, no? Let's, let's, he didn't show up at mm -hmm. the hospital. Um, there are other times stuff like this happened. He didn't show up at the hospital when I broke, when I broke my arm, um, because one step kid was getting their tonsils out and wanted both, uh, both him and his wife there. He told my mom over the phone to tell me he was proud of me for being brave and understanding, even though I never said that shit. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Um, moving on. Okay. When I would bring this stuff up to him, he would tell me that it was natural to feel jealous of sharing his attention. That was all he would say. In 2019, he told my mom that he would split the cost of a trip I wanted to go on with one of my clubs because she didn't have the money all by herself. My mom had her half saved. We told my dad he needed to pay. He said bills were tight and it was the twins' birthday and the money needed to go on something for them. He told me he, would, he could do something as a family. So he, to, he told me we could do something as a family when the trip happened instead. I told him to forget it, that he was making it clear he was more important and I was going to stay with my mom where I actually mattered. Mm. Mom borrowed money to cover the other half of the trip. Dad told me he regretted making me feel less important and we were working on things and then the graduation money was given about a month ago. Then a week ago, he called and told me how one of the stepkids was being bullied so bad and how bad of a time they were having it. And with that money, they could help cheer them for their birthday. <laughs> I was pissed. I hung up. Then two days later, I showed up at his doorstep, gave him the money and told him I didn't want to see him or his new family at my graduation and that he had chosen who was more important so he better stay out of my life. His stepkids and two younger kids, his two and two younger 
biological kids. Also, he has had two other kids, okay, and two younger biological biological kids were there. I didn't stick around. He called and told me we needed to talk it out like adults, and that I hurt the kids' feelings. His wife freaked out on me, so I blocked her. Ooh, <laughs> spicy. Um, okay, so so what are what are we saying? Is he the answer? What did he do now? That he's not. For his, so for for, his, for going and for get going to his step his father's house and yeah, telling him because it, it sounds because like a stepfather. Like he start his yes he's a stepfather. He step he step back. I like that. <laughs> so for so what they are saying he's the asshole for was because he went to the house, mm. gave the father the money and told him that he didn't want to see stepson and his children and his father's children at his graduation that he doesn't want them. Mm. And he walked away. And that's what they are calling him an asshole for. Dude, you are not the asshole. Definitely not the asshole. Mm. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe, like wait now, maybe if it was just directly to the man, but these kids didn't do it. Okay, so yes, I kind of I kind of see what you mean because he did it in front of the, you know, his step, his step siblings. Wait, calm down. <laughs> in front of his step siblings and his stepmom uh-huh. and all of that. So maybe if you had done it, on a man to man, you know, just one on one basis. See, it may it it, it probably would have been hey, less of an thing. He go get to a point. He go get to a point where he choke you. He choke. So you cannot even care about any other person's I feelings because you. nobody fe- nobody thought about your feelings when so things were being here's done. The thing. One, as Didi just reminded us, he's a child. He's nineteen. No offense to anybody that's nineteen that feel like they're adults. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I, I don't mean it derogatively. I just mean like. At 19, you should not have to be dealing with this, this sort of this, adult yeah. issues, you understand? Um, but here's the thing. You see, the step-siblings and his half-siblings probably do not know how many times their father has prioritized them over him, even yes. though he had made promises to him. And they are so fond of him, too. You understand? So Sorry, maybe fond of who? Of the guy, the nineteen-year-old. Uh, the stepkids love him now. Right? Did they say that? Let's see. Let's just assume. No, we are not assuming. We are not assuming. We are not assuming. We are not assuming. Okay. Uh-huh, babe, you are saying. So they do. So the picture they have of their father is great dad, dad number one dad in the world. Stepdad. No, I mean I'm talking yeah. about. He's, not dad because he's, he's dad more of a dad, dad to dad. them, dad. Okay. No, but yeah, but yeah. 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 So. That's how they see him mm-hmm. because they do not know how much, how much so he has disappointed so someone else just so that they can life, be happy. Though. Ito, that's why I'm saying that they needed to see mm. that he's not all that. Yes, someone I else agree. suffers so that you guys can have a great father. I am. I have a shitty dad so that you can have a great dad. But I need you to see that he's not he's such not a all great that. dad. Though. Yes. So that the day he starts to show you, you Pepe, Pepe, because you know, will shock you. You go touch everybody. People like that will that always prioritize yes. what is new and shiny. Because now he has biological kids with his wife. Those three step kids that she had, one day he will prioritize his own biological kids over, over them. them based on this. And something else that I know. So they should just prep. Child, this son has mm. been giving him multiple, op- multiple chances. opportunities, yeah, because to fix up. For him to have failed him, and they will have another plan, he will fail, and they will have another plan, he will fail. It, it's not as if this child does. I think the son wants his father, mm. but his father has proven more than once that I don't want you as much as you want. Mm. Like I'm going to be av- available for you when it when it's, it's convenient for my for my for my, for my family. Children. So I can't imagine what I would feel like as a child. When, and I also when mm. you're, you're, like I'm only I'm only there for you when it's convenient for you to be with me. And the fact that you now gave him the money and you still had the audacity to come back and say bring it back so that I can use it for ah. I also feel like the mother has had enough. That the boy's mother has had enough because over the years maybe she didn't. I feel like she was never talking against her, the she boys. Shielding, she was shielding. Uh, She'll be like, oh, your father doesn't mean that your father loves you mm. and all that. Because for the boy to always have been giving the father, because kids, things they vex them like this. Mm-hmm. But he should be going. I th- I feel from how she had been giving the father a lot of chances that she would have been saying, your father loves you. He didn't mean it this way. Um, don't worry. Even when she told him, okay, bring money for the concert. I have half the money. Baba, half no hard. You are the father. Sometimes you should bring everything. 
but half and you couldn't even bring the half you had to go and do it for the twins birthday when he now even brought the half he now came and collected, collected and yeah because he wanted to paint room it. no I, yes I, no I, I for the trip no the concert was for the party the mm. graduation no, 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 is no they're different kids uh, one was yeah. there was a time when they were supposed to go for a concert together and uh, he has paid for his own. He didn't tell us how he paid for his own. But his father was supposed to also pay for his own ticket so that they. No, his mom. Oh, the mom. No, he got a ticket. Yes, he got a yes, ticket. Yes, but his father was also supposed, supposed to buy to get his own ticket so that they would go together. And then did not get it. I used the money. For so the mom had to go and borrow the money. So no, no, no. The one the mom that borrowed money for is the party. Is the graduation party. No. Is that it? Yes. Uh. Yeah. Yes. So there was. A, the concert was one of the scenarios where his father has failed mm-hmm. to show up mm-hmm. when they were supposed to do something together. That's a different scenario. Okay. Then the party was where they were supposed to go half and half. Uh huh. And he did not now end up bringing his half. His mom now brought everything. True. Later, true. He now brought the money, but now decided to take it back and say, "Um, your step brother is being bullied in school, and need to make him happy if I spend the money." And painted room. His, yes, or his bed. No, the painted room was for the concert money. My God, the man so just the has a lot of excuses. I, it's so so. I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like he's just trying, you know, failing at it to. He's trying and failing his at wrongs. it. Yeah, like a lot has happened already with this guy. You know, getting the other woman and her kids. Now he treats them bad. How will it be? Now he has to treat his own child bad to make these other ones feel good. <laughs> no, no, truly not retribution. It's basically, so the he has been rubbing to people. The first marriage, he wants to treat this this man better and it starts with her kids. You know, just all that. And there's something that he said at the end that the woman did. Where that she called him. To, yes, blocking that. The woman lost, like, why would you do that? To Freaked people? out. And I feel like, again, because normally I'll be a woman advocate and say women did no wrong. But I feel like for the father, she mm. called and lost it on her. Like, I feel, I don't know, mm. is that she might have an influence on the man. How he be, even though he's an adult and he should know to do better. Do you understand? So I'm not going to change, take the blame and put it on someone else. But I also feel like there's an influence at home where is that. Because there's something he said about the son broke uh, removing tosses and wanted the two mm. the two parents there. Yes. And your child had an... Broken at least you could have... So that means Child that is they older, are in distance of our guy is older. Two places at a within, like they are not too far off, mm. like they don't live too far off. Mm. At least be an adult and be like, okay, find a way to be there for the two of them. Do you understand? So in that sort of instance, yeah, um, I don't know how old the child is that had to take their tonsils out. I don't know how old. Maybe at that Kian's time. age. No, 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 definitely older, because by the time you know this person got married to the boy's mm. dad. The boy was 12 and she already had those kids. Now he's 19. So, very young though. so those kids are at least 12. Teenagers. At least 12. Mm. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, so he, has, he has become a man now because he carried money I gave him. I yes. said, yeah. take your money. Like uh-huh. I don't think he's an asshole though. Oh, the father. Yeah. He's a lie. You know, you know he's an asshole. No, I mean the but guy. Our no, guy. The, no, no, no. Our guy is not. No, no, no. Also, also, as Didi was saying, Right about the influence that um, the wife might have on might the father. Have on father. That goes without saying. She definitely has a strong influence on her husband. Any woman worth her salt has a strong influence on her husband. There are a lot of decisions that are my decisions, but we all know are not my decisions. Okay? Mm-hmm. You understand? Are you blinking? No. I... No, I in case I need help. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, no. It's okay. We can't even help you. Wow. Sorry. It'd be your own. But, you know, we all know that that's how, the, that's how the world works, right? For the most part. So, we cannot completely absolve the, the, the boy's stepmother um, of any influence on his father. But as Didi said, that man, you be, you are, you are, you are an autonomous human being. You have full autonomy over your actions and all of that. So, no, this this boy is not the asshole. He's not the asshole. No, oh. we have we have only one. Actually, we have only one or two. That are, yes, you are the asshole. It's a vasectomy. It was a good mix. It was a good mix. It was a good mix. The vasectomy guy is a definite yeah. asshole. <laughs> 
deaf in the face. That one is an idiot. That one is an idiot. It's the way, it's the fact that, you know, he's eagerly participating in the activities necessary for them I can to just try imagine. In. I can just imagine. Okay. Ooh, ah, baby, let's get it on tonight. Yeah, yeah, oh, baby, yeah. it's ovulation time. Let's, you know. You'd be like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, let, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah. Probably, now. though, probably, though, that guy didn't want to get married to her. Maybe she forced him into that. Hey, hey. No. He's like, I don't want to do this. Is it, the, the guy says, hey. anything. Hey. Anything. Hey. anything. You know? People. Nothing can stop record, me from getting married. No, bro, record, now you've seen that. You've seen for that the record, happen. Our DP is what? a complete gentleman. <laughs> A decent human being, a father of a two, very good father of two, and a loving husband, and a lot of this nonsense that he's nah, saying here. Nah. He's, he's just, saying he's just, I wish, in fact, let me try and do uh, uh, <laughs> so that you see the smile on his face as he's saying these things yes. to trigger, just to trigger me. Here. Let's do the video. Like you want to step, you want us to go and fight outside. Do the video, baby. I'm do doing the video. video because do the video. Then people see. No, that but this, but that what I'm saying, that, just look at it now, eh, Ibro, Ibro, my guy. I they look you, my guy. But for real though, the woman we don't talk to, like nothing will make me stop. You know, marrying you. Mm -hmm. And the guy, are you sure? The guy said yes. <laughs> but she already says. Let me do it in this format in case you need to put it inside. But she already said there's nothing that can stop us from getting married. That's the reason why the guy should have told her. That's the reason why exactly. That's why she. But she enjoys it more but when she really thinks something is really coming out. <laughs> Did he just say when he thinks something is really coming out? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Now you will tell to me. He let you ask me. But now you go edit this thing. Now you go put them in you. You don't have to put this 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 clip in the cut. No, you put you put the main one. Then this one will now be up somewhere. No, but for real. But you know, I think that this is funny and everything. But considering how much conversations that's been had on this podcast, I have had opportunity to listen to about how. Trying to conceive is very hard. It's hard. And the emotional, yeah. tussle and the feeling and all of those things. Mm. So I'm like thinking about this woman every month, seeing her period, and the, how the, that how crush, how, how yeah, and all of those things. And the reason for your problem is literally lying down next to you. Ah, you know okay, he's, he's, he's an asshole. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know how inhumane it seems to be like. Ah. This is you. And let's even say, you know, as when somebody tries to have a child, one, two, three, four, and it's not working, they will then say, oh, let's go to the hospital, the doctors. And the man will refuse. You know what because I think? He knows. Yeah, we'll be talking. No, don't worry. You know what I think you should do? You know what I think you should do? So, the the filmmaker in me just kicked <laughs> Baba, mm. to Fake save your, your life. <laughs> <laughs> My wife literally just said, fake your death. You know what you should do? Because you know, he can lie that he can he can bring out sperm. He should go and fake wait. his death. So what he should do, right? That's that's a good suggestion. Mm -hmm. But drastic, calm down. What I think he should do is tell her that look, we've been trying for a while now, and this doesn't seem to be happening. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's me. Let me go and get myself checked. Then he goes and tells his doctor, bro. Now you do me snip snip, but I need you. One last but time. Ex I need still. you to calm down. The ex does not. He will come back and bite now. Wait, Hillary, calm down. Okay. So he tells the doctor, <laughs> Doc, listen, I need your help. Doc says, What do you need my help for? He says, Listen, my wife doesn't know that I, you know, came to you for the snip snip. So what I'm going to do is you're going to give me a report that says that oh my swimmers are not swimming anymore. I am. You know, I'm unable to have kids. One doctor is like, ex wait, angry. Baba, chill, man. she will reveal the truth. Then yes. his, his doctor I, I gives him, advocate his again. doctor gives him yeah. the note and says, well, sorry, we ran this test and everything. Baba, looks like you did it when you could because as it stands, maybe your diet has been crappy, whatever. No you sperm count. You cannot have kids anymore. Your, 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 your sperm are not motile. Oh, man, we feel probably played. So he will now go and show her and say, auntie, yeah. see you. Yeah. It's too late. Oh, I cannot... Then you now go and meet your ex-wife and say, dear, to you, bro. I have not told her that I did a snip snip. Instead, I've told her that I cannot have kids, that I have a medical condition. And you think that will keep it? And she's his ex-wife. Nope, Obviously she will not. Women, a stun of a woman. Here goes your advocate now. Tell that woman that you're putting her through a lot. But the fact that she didn't, but the fact that she didn't snitch right there, mm. and instead she thought I gave him a smile, means, is yes, so he will not have another separate agree arrangement with his ex-wife and say, baby, for how long? He does it. Like, I'm trying to say we can solve this. Let's for how this long? Man so that he will not die because I guarantee you, 
I'm sending it to you. No, send it to you. If he tells his wife, wait, my darling. If he tells his current wife that he did a snip snip and she, he has just been, you know, you know, for the heck of it over the, the entire time of their marriage, he will wake up dead. See, so for no, him to not get maybe killed. not make up dead, but she might ah, divorce him. We can't, we can't work with she me. will kill him. him. Let's look at the worst best scenario. Let me tell you something. If he confesses now that he has done vasectomy, marriage will end, but he might be alive. But if you go through this, your filmmaker route for the drama, written, mm. and then she now finds out the next season we do of this podcast will be written how a woman killed her husband, mm. and she's asking if she's the asshole for killing her husband uh-huh. for lying to her about getting snipped. Oh man! So at the end of the day, mm. there's always a backstory. Oh, here we go. Yes. So we can't really. At the end, because no, no, at some point we said the audience or whoever is telling the woman she's an asshole is the asshole, right? We don't know the full story at the end of the day. To even so, this this thing is based on what is based on what we have read. We have to make one person, that's Uh, based on the the story that you've read. Is he an asshole or not? He is, Ah. she can now, okay. Oh, she yeah, can uh, you thank guys, you, you Zane, for me. coming to our side. Right. Um, thank you guys for listening to this episode. Um, thank you for always being there and always commenting on our posts. As usual, you can catch us on um our, all our social media platform across all our social media platform. Do you know you've been doing this thing for two on years? On due parenting now, part, and you still just have you just you just do it anyhow you like. Give me three more seasons. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know. Okay, across all social media oh platforms, you can you can reach us there: um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, on his social media. Um, oh, Ibrahim Suleiman official on Instagram, um, Malu on Twitter. Yeah, Ihoma Linda Ijofo on Instagram, Linda Ijofo on Twitter, and then don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and tell everyone to please watch the show. Um. So, um, dear dad. Do the things that you hoped that your own dad would do with you. Do them with your own kids. Um, if you wish that your, your father spent more time watching um, live, live football with you, do it with your child. If you feel like you wish that your father you know, kissed your mother you know, or showed her affection in front of you, do it with your wife. Just break the cycle. The things that you didn't get. Yeah. You know. That joke alert! Babe. Oh, wow, my eye. Babe. Yes, mm. baby. What do corn farmers use as the internet? Corn farmers. Mm. Easy. Corn farmers use as the internet. Mm. <laughs> Cobweb. Eh? So on that note, we'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Eh? No, 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 be kind to one another. It will be. Cobweb. All right, corn um, farmers. Cobweb. No. Cob. Corn cob. Eh? When, you, when you take worst the corn ever. From you. No, it's the not. Yo, it was the corn web. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, guys. Really, guys? Okay. Really? I'm done. I'm done. You're not done in Jesus' name, dear. <laughs> with who? I did not say I'm done with you. That jokes you are can't. inside jokes, I guess. That's why. They are boring, right? No, no, they're not boring. They're they are just, boring. You know, yeah, you have to you have to zone in. Like you have to think. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's why they're here. Welcome to Field Wetting Board.